Hello, my comics, comic catch, yes, and designer, Cap Comic, bringing you guys and gals, yes, another tech video. Very, very brief one, so without further ado, here we go. Are you having problems with OBS? Are you not able to get it to work? Well, I've got a fix for you right here. It's today's date, the 22nd of May, 2023. So when you're watching this, depending on when, what, what time, if it's right now or if it's in the future, salute you. So here we go. This is how you fix it. All you do is go to search. You want to type in graphic settings. You want to bring up graphic settings. You want to browse for the game in question. As you can see, the game's already here as well as OBS. But you want to browse. You want to find the EXE file. OBS EXE, as you can see there. You want to add. So it comes down here. You also want to find the game location of any game you use and do it this way as well. So I'm going to use Call of Duty as an example. Go to retail, then down to the EXE, click the word add, and that will put that here. What you need to do, and this is what seems to have made the difference for me, is go to options and take it away from let Windows decide and actually choose it under high performance yourself. Don't let Windows decide for you. You want to choose high performance and then click save. You want to also do the same for OBS. Go to options, high performance, click save. This has fixed it for me. Well and truly, it's been the reason for fixing the whole thing. I used to go up there before, go to it, left click, right click, go to properties, then set it under compatibility mode and have to click run as administrator. And I had to mess about by loading the game first, then OBS afterwards in order for it to recognize. But this seems to have fixed it in one go and I'll demonstrate it right now. Right now I am using display capture. So you can see, obviously as we load in the game, you can see it pop up. You could see everything on a desktop. If it was game capture, game capture only captures the game itself. It's the least intensive one, and it's the one you always want to use if you are going to do streaming or recording on any game, because it only records the game itself. So you can't leak any details or anything, information, and obviously it keeps, um, it keeps the performance as good as possible. So I'm going to load in with display capture on, but I'm going to turn display capture off. And you'll notice it'll actually probably pick up straight away and uh, it'll actually pick up the game and, and load the game straight away. Whereas before it was a pain, I had to go through no end of troubles to get it to work. Now I found an easy solution and fix. And it's just basically, instead of letting Windows decide, you choose what you want it to run as. The high performance, obviously, is the highest of privileges. So let this load in and then I'll show you. So again, we're still on display capture, hence why you can see the game. So if we skip this, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to actually show you in real time. I'm going to bring over OBS here. So you can see OBS is here and everything. What we're going to do now is I'm going to remove display capture and you'll be able to see the game behind me. Because obviously I'm, I'm display, the display capture is here and you can see the game is behind me there. Uh, what I'll do, I'll shrink it down there so you can still see the game a little bit up above here. If I press on the I for display capture, right, then you've got game capture behind. Then I'm going to go and choose Call of Duty. Press on Call of Duty. And there you go. So display capture is now closed and you can no longer see the window of OBS, even though it's on the same screen. It's on this screen right here in front of me, not the, the one over there. And I'm going to move OBS back over to my second screen over there. And there you go. It's fixed it. Oh, that's all you do. And it's an easy, simple fix. It will get it running. And I've had no problems. It seems to do it straight away. All you need to do is obviously make sure you click and highlight game capture, go to properties and make sure when it says mode, and then it's got window and then it's got window match priority that you obviously capture specific window and then you choose cod.exe, call of duty HQ and uh, window title must match as well. I've got mine set as underneath and I don't touch anything else. I leave the hook rate and the sRGB as it is. I don't touch anything else on there. I leave everything as default. The only thing I change is obviously capture specific window, choose the game. And window title must match is the only thing on there. And there you go. That's how you get it to work. And that's how you get game capture to, to basically 
sort yourself out because it's been such a pain in the butt having to use the others and you want to use game capture at all possibilities because I think the second next best thing would be obviously to do it like a window capture so it's capturing the window of the game the one you don't want to use which is the most intensive is display capture because display capture means that it's running everything you're seeing everything all the windows and everything and it's the most intensive way to run it if you're going to stream you definitely want to do it on game capture and nothing else hopefully this helps if it did don't forget to like subscribe hit that notification bell also consider joining it's just 199 gives you access to emotes badges hopefully giveaways in the future i would also like to do some charity work as well for autism and dementia and lots of other cool stuff so consider doing that for 199 that's all it costs if not please like this video it helps to get out to more people and obviously helps to improve and make a bigger channel thank you very much salute to you and yeah bye for now